Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're seeing what's new for lunch. So we've been trying to eat healthier lately and one of the things that I've been changing a little bit is my lunch. Mm -hmm. um, so when I come home, I like to have some of these frozen meals like these. These are Healthy Choice brand and this is Simply Steamers line. Mm -hmm. They um, also have cafe steamers. Yeah, cafe they have a, steamers. They have a regular line too. Yeah. Um, and there were, I should say, there were a few other kinds to choose from. So we sure. just kind of picked what sounded the best to us at the time. Yep. Um, so I can't wait to give these a try. They look really good, actually. Mm -hmm. Like they have um, actual ingredients in them. Like mm -hmm. we can see artichoke in yeah, with have. this one. Pasta with artichokes, I just, yeah, I love. Yeah, let's tell them what we have. You yeah, want to? okay. Okay, so this one sounded interesting to me. Now we've been uh, staying away from carbs a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time we had pasta. Uh, Other than in a meal, like yeah. we've made pasta for dinner, I can't even remember. So I thought in a lunch where we can add a little bit and maybe the pasta takes a back seat to the protein and the and the veg, yeah. you know, maybe that would be good. This is meatball marinara and it's meatballs with whole grain penne, spinach, and a Parmesan marinara mm. sauce. Uh, I have... Um... Asian over here. I've got beef and broccoli, tender beef strips, and broccoli with brown rice in a sesame soy sauce. That sounds good. So I got that. And then the last one that we have is grilled chicken, I'm sorry, grilled basil chicken. Chicken breast with penne pasta, artichokes, red bell peppers, yellow squash, and spinach in a basil lemon sauce. Nice. Huh. That sounds good. What I really like about like these steamers, and when you cook them, it comes in the bowl that you can cook them with, mm -hmm. but the vegetables are separate from the sauce, and it steams that way in the in like with the plastic over top, and then you just put them together and stir them up, and it's done. Nice. Okay, let's do this one first. I think this one is really chock full of spinach, and it says marinara but it's not like loaded in sauce like yeah. we would typically you know think of when we hear like pasta i'm making sure to get a meatball and uh pasta pasta yeah yeah okay got a meatball and pasta as well cheers cheers one of the things i was worried about was the texture of the meatball because have you ever had a meatball in a frozen dinner like this sometimes it is mush yeah that isn't that isn't that that's got great texture in it um i think the flavor is good it's got that spinach in there that helps and the the pasta is decent i would eat this for lunch for sure trying the pasta on its own it has excellent flavor you ate a meatball i ate a meatball yeah yeah and i see one two three others so about five meatballs about in five thing. meatballs that's, a, um, that's fine yeah so it's a lot of a lot of spinach in here, which I really enjoy. And you could even bump it up a little bit more if you wanted to throw in extra veggies or something like mushrooms in this would be fantastic. Yeah. Although I'm always looking for ways that I can add mushrooms to anything. That's great. That's really good. Love it. Okay. Next, you want to go this one? Sure. Let's just go right on down the line. So this is the grilled basil chicken. Um, and we'll. Talk about calories and stuff here in a There's bit. There's squash. Yeah. I gotta get squash. I gotta get penne. This one's a little juicier than yeah. the last one. I gotta get squash, a penne, a little bit of artichoke, and a little bit of chicken. Yeah, you gotta get the whole bite, right? Mm hmm. Chicken. There we go. I said rookie's favorite word. I said it and he appeared. Cheers. <laughs> there he is. Cheers. That's a really bright sauce. The it lemon's is. great. The, the veg is really good. Um, the chicken was good. That's actually very decent. You know what's funny? Somebody recently in our comments said, don't say veg, it's gross. Here's what I have to tell you. Step one, get a YouTube channel. And step two, <laughs> say whatever you want on it. That's what I'll say. 
ears. Sassy. Mmm. <laughs> That's great. That isn't artichoke. It? Isn't it good? Oh. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that. That's really good. Okay. Mm All right. Now, beef and broccoli, very much saucier. Mm -hmm. It almost, um, yeah, <laughs> it looked, um, well, I think the rice kind of soaked a little bit of it up. But. I love brown rice. The nuttiness I of it and rice, the texture too. of it. Oh, Recently, oh. we made dinner. There I go. <laughs> go ahead. We made a dinner with white rice in the crock pot, and it was a fail. You're going to see that. Um, the texture on white rice sometimes also goes to mush. Mmm. I tell you what, healthy choice, I'm impressed. These are good. Me too. These are seriously good. I will look up how much they were and put it down in the comments for you. Not crazy expensive and worth it. We've definitely, over our lifetime, had our share of 99 cent mm -hmm. whatever meals. And if that's what your budget is, there's no shame or shade in that. Right. But if you can afford just a little bit extra. Yeah worth it the, definitely totally worth, worth it. it i think the portion sizes are good for a lunch um yeah we're gonna have these for dinner tonight yeah um which uh i've had you know like similar size frozen things for lunch uh since we've been on this healthier kick and it's just fine i mean i, I really don't feel like i've missed out on anything well step one i think is just limiting the amount of sugar yeah. and other things that we have in our bodies. But um, step two has been portion control. So even when we do allow ourselves to have whatever on the weekend, in years past, maybe John would have three brats at a time or four slice, slices of pizza. And even though on the weekend we can do whatever we want, we're still mindful about our portions, if that yeah. makes sense. We just so, have more, uh, not necessarily more. We don't have like sugary snacks during the week and everything. Yeah. And then we allow ourselves a little more freedom. But this is nice that it has the extra veggies in it and it's portion controlled. So 280 calories on the meatball one. Yeah, 230 for the artichoke or the grilled basil chicken, and then 270 for the beef and broccoli. Given that the middle one here is 230, that's my favorite out of it's all of them. It's my favorite as well. And, and it's got the least amount of calories. Yeah, the sauce is great, the chicken's great. It's the same penne, I assume, as what's in here. I like all of these. I do too. Honestly, in the very near future, I have to manifest this. We are going to be getting a deep freeze. We have a freezer on our refrigerator, but it's not enough room for us to have like tons of frozen things. Right. So I can't wait for us to be able to have multiple choices. That's why you haven't seen that much frozen stuff in our <laughs> in our videos we because don't room. <laughs> we don't have any room. Uh, I mean, think about how much room this, you know, three of these boxes takes up and we that takes away from our popsicle space <laughs> we gotta have popsicle space um but i would get these again there was also a chicken marsala mm -hmm. there was another asian in the same line like a uh, there was like a, a fried, fried rice. rice yeah um there was a couple of them camera died but i want to read to you one thing did you see on the back it says, our meatball marinara is made with real ingredients that are minimally processed and have no artificial, well, anything. And yeah. they all say that. Yeah, they all say the nothing artificial. Yeah, which is great yeah. for a frozen meal. So I don't know what I was saying. I know I was saying something about the freezer and how we need one, and I can't wait. And we'll, we will be trying more frozen things as well. We tend to go frozen for lunch a lot of times right now. However... We're going to start a new little series on our channel, packing our lunches. Mm. I got a little bento box because I am a snacker. And I tend to skip lunch because if I'm not feeling good or I'm busy or whatever, I just might grab a little snack. So we're going to be making little bento boxes of, of little snacks. So be looking yeah, that'd for be that. Yeah, that would be fun. What do you eat for lunch? Are you that kind of person? I, I used to be a sandwich person mm -hmm. almost exclusively. Um, but, you know, 
that's a lot of bread. And I have switched to having, like today, I don't even think I told you this, we had hard boiled eggs and I used them and I made egg salad in a tortilla, a carb smart tortilla. But if you have any ideas for us for healthy lunches, we would love to hear. Yeah, absolutely. But these are a great choice in the meantime. Yep. And it scratches that itch, like we're not getting Chinese takeout right, right now, right? Yeah. So that kind of scratches that same itch and we're not eating a lot of pasta. Well, here we're having pasta, so. Yeah, I think one of my biggest issues is like portion control. So it really helps that it's portioned out. It's not like, you know, a serving size is half of the container, yeah. you know, it's the whole thing and you just eat it and you're done. You know when you're done because you're done. Yeah. And then if you want to add something else because you're not full, you can grab a hundred calorie snack in the afternoon yeah. or you can grab an apple or whatever it is and you know what you're getting. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, highly recommend these. I would too. Which one you said this was your favorite. Was yeah. there any that you would consider your least favorite or would you get all of them? I would again? get all of them. I mean, they were all really good. I was a little skeptical with the beef and broccoli, just how it kind of looked, a little soupy, you know? Yeah. But the flavor really is there. It's, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to try the other ones in the line yeah. now, too. So, yeah. anyway, come find us on Instagram if you haven't already. We'd love to have you join us. Love and Junk with No D. And make sure you check out our stories. That's where we post the most frequently. And then come to the comments. Let us know if you have any healthy lunch suggestions or what you eat for lunch. I know soup is another way that a lot of people go. Mm -hmm. And we've done that too, certainly, yeah. like portion controlled, healthier soup. But what else? What else are we not thinking of? I really think we're gonna do like pinwheels and some other stuff too, but would love to hear your suggestions. Speaking of the comments, that's the place where you can subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, along with our other channels where we do other things when we have time to do other things. Right now, there's not a whole lot of that because it is garden yard that's right season so but anyways we would love to have you join us on all the channels and then just watch the ones that you're interested in now if you love healthy choices or lunch ideas or us or the video give this video a big thumbs up it really helps our channel grow when you do that that's all we have for today that's it guys we'll see you next time bye